We are at BCB Radio in Bradford City Centre. And myself, Sia. Yeah. I'm Ben. And we're here alongside Dave Carpenter. Nice to meet you, buddy. This is Bradford Community Broadcasting. It's the local city radio where we get local young people and culture to come on the show and talk about different things. Do you want to give us a little chat about the kind of things you want to run on the radio and, and what's happening? Yeah, yeah, like you say, we're um, Bradford's local community radio station, so th the point of us is to get the voices of local people like on the media. So if you've got a story, if you've got something that you think other people should hear about, come to us and we'll help you tell the rest of the district about it, yeah? So it's a wide range, obviously, of your musicians, you'll have your, your, your more serious stories. Your yeah, that's right. Yeah, every day we have a news magazine program that goes out. So that takes the local news, it takes the national news that might have a Bradford angle on it, and we take international news as well because quite often international events affect local people. So we're talking about those things every day. We have a couple of programs that do that throughout the day. Uh, into the evening we have lots of specialist music programs. So if there's a kind of music that you like, it'll be on BCB somewhere. So I think the great thing about BCB is it's not necessarily a radio station that you're going to listen to all day long every day, but there's something on it for everyone at some point. Cool, well, we're going to have a little bit of a tour, so we're going to ask Dave if he'll show us around and yeah, uh, we'll yeah. try not to disturb all the hard-working people and there's a few radio shows on air, so we've actually just come off our... Yeah, yeah, we've just done our snippet for, for the show. Uh, so let's this, take we've a already walk. filmed it, so... <laughs> so I think these are just the offices where people kind of get information for the shows and, and practice. Yeah. And I'm going to show you the kitchen. We've got to do this is where the rock stars have the drink, is it? To start off here. But also, th we say this is one of the most important parts because actually the kettle's always on at BCB. That's so if you want to come in and have a chat and have a natter, if you want to tell us about what it is that you do, or you just want to talk to someone, you've got a bit of time and you want to just chat, catch up with someone, yeah. you do that. You actually thought the kettle should always be should on, always we know be that, on. don't we? Exactly, exactly. So we've got, got we've got a few little meeting room spaces that people can use and hire out for stuff as well. And then we go this way. Yeah. Oh, we're very busy, it's an overing going on. <laughs> Studio three. Studio three. Studio three. Right. Um, so, so this is the office. Yeah, in the sort of the main area here. Yeah, in the main area here, we've got um, a computer section over there. So all all the broadcasting on BCB is done by volunteers. No one's paid to go on air. So we've got over 200 volunteers that deliver the radio for us. So they use the IT suite here to pre-record their program. Sorry, you put, they put together the songs. I remember you put together the songs for the show in like the banks as well. Is yeah, it, exactly. Was it carts? You say it was yeah, we call them carts. Yeah, old-fashioned yeah. radio turf yeah, where they used to do a lot of plastic things that you actually put into the, to the player and it used to play. But now it's all digital. Um, so yes, yeah, so you use this for preparing your show, um, and then it's got the same software. So when you go into the studio, it's the exactly you can pull up the bank. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. We're allowed in this bit. Yeah, yeah. 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 it's still quite busy low. for a uh, half past four and a. Friday night, yeah. yeah. So. so we have busier days, we have some days that are busier than others, but we're open from uh, 9 till 6, 5 days a week, 9 till 9, 3 days a week. And we're open at weekends for certain things, we're not open all the time, but um, I know you guys both been in the past, you know, kind of like a live session that we had on a Saturday afternoon. So every now and again we do things like that, yeah. So what about if, if uh, somebody's interested to come and be a volunteer, or is it just something you just get in touch with the station and then they'll get some information? Yeah, come down. We have um, open days once a month for anybody that wants to find out a little bit more. And from there you can go on to do a, a training course. If you're a young person, you can kind of get fast-tracked in. So because we've got a specialist -like program for young people, you can just come straight in. We've got, a, we've got a lad in today, it's his first day, and he's recording his first show already. Yeah. So how can people get in touch if they're interested to uh, get... You know, get involved with the show. So um, you just got to get in touch with us. Basically, find us online. So you've got bcbradio.co.uk is the website. Phone numbers on the bottom of that. Just send us a message. Yeah, or drop by. So we're at the top of town in Bradford. You can just pop in and yeah, we'll put all the address and stuff on the stream yeah. when we put this on the show. But, but yeah, thank um, you for letting us have yeah, a look around. So I think nice. we're going to show you the song and the little chat that we had actually live on air this evening. So uh, yeah, and we're going to show you some studios afterwards. I'm there you go, in excess. That's the time to fade you down, I'm afraid, Michael. 
I, I, I do know the song. You know, no, okay. Yeah. You, so we know the song. We've established this is a Shingai known song. <laughs> Good or bad? It's all right. It's all right. Yeah, it's all right. Marks out of ten. Yeah, six. Six. That's high, actually, listeners. For Shingai, that is very high. We've had as low as two before from an all right. So six is good. So Shingai, we better tell people what we're actually going to be talking about in the next hour. So in a minute, we've got Ben and Liam who are already in the studio. But let's just pretend for radio magic purposes they're going to come in at any moment. Mm -hmm. What else have we got going on? Uh, sixteen fifteen is it Brad for Cats, and will be it's a pre-record. John Noble bid manager talk. He spoke earlier this week with our very own Kath Canoval. At 16.30, Helm comes to Bradford and we'll be speaking to Hannah Robertshaw, who's the co-presenter of BBC Talent Hub. At 16.50, creating safe spaces for the young and homeless in the LGBTQ plus community. And we'll be speaking with Monica Gallo, who's a psychotherapist in the health and well-being team at Centrepoint. There you go. Now, normally we'd have told you that 10 minutes ago, but Adam was in the studio. I got confused. I didn't know which fader was going up or which fader was going down, but, you know, he's, that is my privilege. <laughs> now, quickly moving on, welcome to the show. We've got Liam and Ben. Welcome. Oh, yeah. Hello. Yeah, thanks for having us. Ah, absolute pleasure. Absolute pleasure. Now, make sure your mouths are nice and close to those mics or our lovely listeners won't be able to hear you at home. So, tell us all about... So, you've got a video mic night, which is a new Facebook Live TV show which is showcasing new talent. So, Ben, I want to know, how on earth did this come about in the first place? Why are you suddenly a Facebook Live superstar? Well, that's it. Thank you for having us on. No, um, so, yeah, we run this uh, live live stream show um, on a video mic night on Facebook. Um, and we decided we wanted a new platform to help people that we know, up and coming acoustic artists, songwriters, to get their music out, and just acoustic, so there's no like production or professional recording. It's just us. In a bit of a yeah, in, in a little yeah. studio, we have a green screen behind us, and we get guests on. We review tracks, and we we play a couple of numbers ourselves. Uh, and it's we just thought it'd be a great way to um, give give other people a chance to be heard, because uh, you know we have a bit of a following when it comes to local community and music and the culture. So we thought it'd be a good platform to help people out. Now we're being filmed right now, so I guess is this going to make some of the this this will be an insert for the show, yeah. Could so make the cut, it, not it, guaranteed. It, it depends so if we, how good we get it when we go live. Soon. <laughs> talk <laughs> about uh, Liam. Talk about how we uh, what what we do on the show. Yeah, well, we started off with our producer James, who is also Ben's dad, and um, came up with the idea. So we got a video. Uh, we got jam nights, you know, and watch other artists and stuff. But why not put it on a, yeah, yeah. Why not put it on, um, on an internet basis? So here we came up with it, and it's gotten stronger and stronger each week. We're nine episodes in now, and the artists are getting bigger and better, and we're getting more relaxed as presenters because it was all new to us, which uh, which is key, really. Um, and yes, yeah, so we've got so many more people messaging us now to come on, and we do live reviews as well, so people have new tracks out. We'll watch their, we'll, you know, we'll flip it through and we'll give them a free track review on uh, there. So, so part of it, so you'll be watching or listening to a track and then yeah, live recording so it and, and then reviewing it. Join in oh, right, and then so yeah, it's yeah. like a blind review for the guests. I mean, we have a little quick listen. Um, and prepare ourselves a bit for it as you do. Um, yeah, yeah, and make sure there's no cursing. <laughs> this is a family based show. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, we've had them as far as Scotland artists uh, getting in touch with us. We've had some Spanish people getting in touch. We've had a lot of folk and country acts. So a nice mixture. It's an amazing it's, yeah. thing, isn't it, these days? Because of the internet and, and the power of the internet being a global community potentially. And it just needs to be things that people have in common. So that's, that's exciting, isn't it? When you get people coming Everybody's from different parts got music of the world. in common, aren't they? And, and uh, we, we stream it uh, not just on Facebook, we're on, it goes on YouTube, it goes on Spotify, and now we do a podcast. And it's growing, and we're getting thousands and thousands of people watching yeah. back on the, on, the, you know, on the repeat shows. So, yeah, it's growing and it's growing, so fingers crossed um, it will so be actually better. So, actually, what we're filming right now in the studio, um, we do like a, a minute, maybe a minute and a half. Um, Kind of an insert. It's more of an an advertisement. Yeah. So, like for yourselves, we'll obviously promote BCB as a as like a, a station. Yeah. But also, it's it's good for us to come to places like this, and we can film ourselves. We've done like small boutique coffee shops. Pizza we've done a guitar yeah. guitar shop, uh, and we've got plans to go to some bigger places as well. People in BCB, I don't believe it. Don't believe yeah, it now. We want to hear some of your music as well in a moment. Yeah. Um, just quickly on open mic nights. I always think open mic nights kind of thing that it must be so daunting the, f mm -hmm. the first time. It's like doing stand up for the first time, it, performing yeah. in front of other people. It is. I mean, we, me and Ben both gig regularly, and a lot of people that these shows do. But you know, and you, your pub gigs are generally playing covers, and you know, get the party going. But these jam nights, you can go and you can focus on your own music. And this is what shows about really to try and get it out even more so the people are coming and they'll sing a mystery cover that they pick 
Um, but they'll also sing, you know, there's a couple of their own songs. And we're, we're trying to put the focus on the, the original stuff, to be honest with yeah. you. Yeah, well, we just challenge ourselves to play random yeah, stuff, right, don't we? Yeah, Ben will just say, like, this week's romance. It was Valentine's Day last week, so we did love song each. The next week, uh, next week's show, we've got the Yorkshire Puddings on, by the way. We're absolutely... <laughs> well, they're, they're a duo from Silsden, and they write all their own I think songs. that might have to be a 12A yeah. show, though, yeah. won't it? Because not, not, <laughs> as, not as family-friendly yeah. as normal. But, no, it's, it's good, it's good, so... Might be a few bleeps. Well, listen, um, Drive is one of those programmes where, and you want to understand this being broadcasters, the clock is against us. So it is, Matt, yeah. Time, let's go. What are you going to play for us, and then let's play it. Well, we fell, Ben fell, fell in love with this song because um, I'm educating him slowly, but this is Lionel Richie stuck on you. So Ben's going to take lead and I'll be just coming in a little bit. I'm stuck on you. I got this feeling down deep in my soul that I just can't lose. Guess I'm on my way I needed a friend And the way I feel now I guess I'll be with you till the end Guess I'm on my way I'm mighty glad to stay mm -hmm. I'm stuck on you been a fool too long, I guess it's time for me to come on home. Guess I'm on my way. It's so hard to see that a woman like you would wait around for a man like me. Guess I'm on my way. Mighty glad to stay. Thank you very much. That was amazing. Thank you. Thank better you. than excess. <laughs> was that better than a six out of yes, ten? Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, ten. that's oh, not right. bad at all. <laughs> I'm sure I'll pay you that ten well pound off. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted to say that. Mm, <laughs> you know, if you turn your mic down just in case. Well, we do. <laughs> we, we used that live feel. on the show. The guests will just join in. We all just, you know, if we know the song, yeah. we just all <laughs> end up jamming. We all of me, and then it's, uh, yeah, I know it just comes just in with the harmony. I was yeah. like, all right, let's do it. That's the fun of music, you know. We're all on the same side, but yeah. Absolutely great. So people listening again, I love these boys. I love Ben. I love Liam. Thank you very much. Where can I find out more? What is your this is his area of uh, social media. Liam talking. turned, what is it, 56 yesterday <laughs> yeah, or something? So 37 years late, late happy birthday anyway. <laughs> Don't worry about um, yeah, so of course Liam and I both have our own social media pages under Liam Jarvis Music and Ben Jordan Music. But together we run the show on Video Mic Night on Facebook. You can find that on Spotify, on Twitch as well. I think we have... Um, yeah, YouTube, you can watch all yeah, the old YouTube. episodes, but yeah, you, you'll find us, just type in video on Mike Knight and we'll be all right. Yeah, yeah. I know people know, but Mike is M-I-C, yeah. Mike has a tune. So Based on open Mike Knight, yeah, yeah. the video on Mike And if you've got any people that you know that might want to in, be interested to come on our yeah. show, or any artists, then drop us a tweet, drop us a message on Facebook. And we'll, and we'll get back to you. We're trying to find some arrangements. That's so, it. Lads, listen, honestly, we can chat all day. I know Thanks we could. Right, right, thank you for having us. We will do. Touch and come back and come back and come back again. Hopefully, Shingo and I make the cut. We'll be shooting in. We'll be shooting in. We'll be shooting We'll be. I'm yeah. really sad that you put my mic down. <laughs> <laughs> I was kidding. <laughs> 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 I'm in anticipation. I'm going to play a little bit of the Iggy Pop just to get us through the next couple of minutes. Thank you for having us. All the best. Cheers, brother. See you so much. I'm not because I'm going to mic up. Perfect. Cool. Thank you very much for showing. Really 
Yeah, yeah good oh. feet to that. Thank you for having us in. Yeah, no. Right, so now we're just going to go have a look at the technical side of how the station works. And I'm already looking from here, and it's uh, not something that I would know anything about. It's a very, about. very complicated server room, but I'm sure Dave can talk us through. None of us know anything about it. We just make up as we go along. Come on, look. Oh, we can hear that's that's the show live through these headphones. Uh, it is, yeah, yeah. 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 That allows us to monitor it. <laughs> so that's how you monitor. That's how you monitor the sound quality if you need to come in. Well, and we check. can do in here, yeah. So we've got lots of stuff going on in here. So. Uh, all this noise here is the studio computers. So we've got three studios that you can do, you can pre-record in. So we have a lot of stuff that goes out overnight that's pre-recorded. Um, and it's also got the live Studio One computer in here. But they're just very, very noisy. So we have them in here, so that yeah, doesn't bleed into the show. So is it only Studio One that can actually broadcast live, all the others are only just recording studios? That's the way we set it up. We can switch to any one if we want to. So, okay, so they, can all, they can all stream live? They yeah. can all go live, yeah. And uh, when we do something like elections, we'll always do ele election coverage. We'll maybe have two or three studios that we switch in between. So we, go, we do that kind of stuff yeah. then. Yeah, then you can have multiple people set up rather yeah, than going yeah. in and out of the same room. Yeah. Yeah. This is all the IT side. I'll show you this side. Because the other thing we are, we're very old school. We, it's analog FM signal that goes yeah. out of the building. And this is my favourite bit. I don't know if you can see, but there's a, there's a red red wire that goes up there. That's where the FM signal goes out of the building. It goes up to a satellite dish on the roof, fires across to the mast at Rose, and then that broadcasts the FM out of the out, Just out keep the Bennett safe bay because it does like to touch things. Yeah, that's <laughs> all this there. <laughs> Just keep your hand in your pocket and one hand on your mic so you're safe. Fuck, it's still don't do damage to be with shutting you down. And don't fall over backwards oh, there. Oh, dear to me, yeah. And there's a tiny little wire there that goes to the internet and does the internet yeah. thing. So, yeah. So, and, and again, uh, we have a few paid hours a week that go into looking after this stuff, but actually most of it's looked after by volunteers. Yeah. Yeah. Doing and a great same job. thing with all this. This, this is the repair bench. Yeah. So all this stuff, broken headphones is our number one thing. Yeah, can imagine. Yeah, again, volunteers can get involved and do all that stuff if they want to. Right, cool. Perfect. And the biscuits there, Ben, again, yeah. keep your hands oh, well, up I've had some yourself. biscuits, it's all right, it's all right. Right, so this is the studio area. So this is obviously the waiting rooms, the waiting area before you go in. I think we're on a live in so there. We've got, we've got four studios. They're currently live in Studio One. And then I think there's small recordings going on in Studio Four and Studio Three. We really have two, yeah. yeah, we're going to have a look in here, but yeah, if you want to follow us in here, we'll have a little look what the studio looks like. So Go I'm on, Liam, you're going to sit down in the seat. I'm not going to touch anything, don't we? Yeah. Go on, Liam, give us, a little, give us a little bit of presenting So this skills. is where the magic happens, I see. So obviously you've got all your mixing desks, um, all your play levels, you've got your screen schedule, and yeah. Again, all looks a little confusing for me. Oh, look at these old school vinyls as well. What's this? What's this, Liam? What does it do? <laughs> I'm you put your pizza on it. <laughs> put your pizza on it and spin it. You don't have to go reach around for a slice. Yeah, yeah. You haven't got an old tape cassette, you wouldn't have a clue what that is. There'll be some of them about. Oh, mini disc, jeez. Yeah, that is going back some time. But yeah, so this is a basic look around of. Um, what this radio studio looks like. The, um, the thing to say about this, what, what we do for people is, this is very similar to the live studio that you're in. You should, hopefully you can see that. All of our studios have got three guest microphones and a presenter mic, and the desks are more or less the same. So when we do train people, even if they're doing a pre-recorded programme, we'll train them to do it as though it was live, mm -hmm. so that it gives them the skills to go into the live studio should they want to. Um, and while it looks complicated, people can pick it up really, really quickly. Yeah. As I was saying, there's a lad in today, it's his first time in, he's already recording his first half hour show. Oh, so it'll be fairly cool. simple, it'll be like, hello. I've done me. a show here, You've I've done a show. Here? Yeah, yeah, it's very simple, this is me, there's some music, that kind of thing. Um, and uh, once you know how one fader works, you can work out the other ones. Can't you? We have got the fifth studio, this is Studio 5. This is, this is Studio 5 here. So if we do need to take all the studios offline, to, if we need to repair the desk or something like that, we can switch to this and this is just a computer. So is there any time during the week that BCB isn't broadcasting? Or is it constant 24-7? No, it's 24-7 and we got our licence back in 2002 when the government first started to give community stations a broadcast licence. So at that time only 10 people in the country got given a full-time licence and BCB was one of them because they've been going since 1992 I think it was. 
Bradford Festival Radio and just broadcasting whenever we were allowed. Um, so yeah, 24-7 since then, apart from when things break. Yeah, so it's a lot of hard work and a lot of volunteers. Yeah. So yeah, they're all doing a great job. Yeah, good fun. Cool. So yeah, we're going to wrap that up here. And thanks for all watching. Thanks for having us, Dave. Yeah, Pleasure to pleasure. meet you. Yeah, Thank you very much. And uh, we'll wrap it there. We'll see you back at the studio.